Hello and welcome to yet another Solar Pipeline tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to request cold leads inside the Solar Pipeline. This is part of our lead gen strategy. Some consultants might prefer to knock on doors, others prefer to just get referrals, some consultants would rather pay someone to book appointments for them, or just purchase some warm leads. And in this case, you will be learning about our cold call strategy. Log inside your Solar Pipeline account and then go to the Marketplace section. Click the Solar Leads database. This will open up a quick tutorial video, but down below you can see a blue button and an orange button. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on the orange button, you'll be able to subscribe there. If you already have access to the database, you can click on the blue button that says Request Solar Leads. This will open up a form where you can request your leads. In the first part, you'll have to identify your first name, last name, phone, email, and Solar Pipeline account name. You can check this one on the top left corner of the screen. Down below, we have the Solar Leads information. This is where you request the batch of leads. Now, when you are requesting leads, if you are making two hours of cold calls a day, please request at only 150 leads. If you are making about four hours, request 300. And if you are making calls full time, eight hours a day, you may request 500 leads. Please don't request 500 leads if you are not calling the leads full time. Let me explain to you why. I can give you 1 million leads, but if you are not following up with them, they are worthless. We are not in the lead collection business, we are in the lead closing business, right? And closing cold leads requires more follow-ups than a warmer lead. While a warmer lead, you might be calling them 6 times until they pick up the phone, cold leads require you to call them at least 10 times. So you will be calling the same lead 10 times in a week. This is more aggressive follow-up process, but that's what's required to get people to answer the phone often. It may seem that these are a lot of calls, but it's not that much. You'll be calling the same lead two times a day over the course of five days. 80% of people only pick up on the second straight dial. It's really important that you follow this exact method. Otherwise, response rates will drop significantly. These calls will mix up with text messages. This way, we won't be missing anyone. Once you finish calling this week's batch, the leads will be removed from the speed dialer and on the week after, we will provide you with another batch of leads that you need to request through this form again. Now, let's keep moving. Pick the state where you want to call the leads. You can only work one state at a time. Make sure to pick a state that coincides with your availability to dial. Don't pick markets that are too far away from your time zone or markets that you don't know anything about. This opens up another important topic, picking the right neighborhood to call. The Solar Pipeline Leads database gives you the ability to pinpoint the exact location of homeowners, meaning that if you pick a neighborhood, we will be able to access all the homeowners living in that neighborhood. For this, you'll need to open up Google Maps. Pick the satellite view so we can see the rooftops on the, of the homes. So let's get an example. Let's say we are calling in New Mexico. Let's go here and let's zoom in, for example. Now, this is really important. Before you select the neighborhood, you should do some market research first. A couple of indicators you should take into account are check if the neighborhood's homeowners association isn't too strict about solar. Some HOAs don't allow solar panels in front of the house. Check if people in that region have an expensive utility bill. There are regions where utilities are very cheap. We don't, call, we don't want to call those neighborhoods. Make sure to pick a middle class or higher neighborhood. People need to have money and good credit to qualify for a loan. Check if the region doesn't have too many trees. This will shape the system, which will make the project less appealing. 
and make sure to pick neighborhoods that already have few houses with solar. That's a good indicator that solar might be a good option in that region. You have the power and responsibility to pick the best neighborhood possible. And this exercise will allow to also learn more about the local market's needs and problems. A good option would also be searching for neighborhoods that were recently affected by a power outage. Those people will definitely be looking to get a battery backup solution. The internet is not the only way to get information. Call some local realtors and ask them to give you some information about the specific neighborhood. You can also use that as an opportunity to establish referral-based partnerships with them. Once you select the satellite view, let's pinpoint a neighborhood like this one and scroll down until you can see a house. For example, this one. Click the house and get its address. Copy the address, click on this icon over here, and go back to the solar pipeline. Paste this address in the form and click request, or in this case, submit request. It can take our team between 24 to 48 hours to upload the leads inside your account. Afterward, we will start the cold call and texting campaign for you. Make sure to watch the videos on how to manage conversations, how to use the speed dialer, and how to book consultations before starting to engage these leads. In terms of metrics, make sure to keep track of the number of dials you are making. You should be making at least 200 dials a day. For every 200 dials, you should be getting on 5 to 10 conversations, and you should be booking at least one consultation. Remember, the objective of the solar pipeline is to help you start the conversation. Once you start talking with the homeowner, that's where your cold call skills comes into play. Amazing closers are often very good cold callers. So cold calling and cold texting are very important skills for you to master so you can become an exceptional closer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Email us at support at solarpipeline.com if you have any questions. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.